Hello everyone, my name is the Space Game Maniac and today I will be showing you how to set up the uh, uh, floor plan script made by Alicia's. So to get started all we need is a pro programming block. You edit the script, click the browse scripts button, find the floor plan script that you subscribed on the workshop click OK and it will load inside uh, press the check code button if it's, it sh if it's uh, working it should say compilation successful and press OK and you're done with the uh, uh, programming block now all you need is a LCD panel that you want to show the script on. So usually take one LCD, but you can all have it a multi-screen LCD. So all you have to do, if you want to make either a single piece or how many LCD long and wide the screen you want to be, all you have to do is add the L underscore panel on the top left LCD go to the uh, uh, programming block add the screen and type and change this uh, horizontal, horizontal count and vertical count to how many LCDs you have uh, if you you want how big the LCD you want to have. If you have a only one block, you don't need to change it. But in my case, I have to change it, then recompile, or just reset. And there we go. We have the script working now. Uh, If it's like showing the wrong alignment, all you have to do is go into the f top left panel and uh, let's say reverse the Z axis and reverse the Y axis just using the uh, minuses. If, if you want to reverse you just delete or add them. Also, you can uh, run a reset argument, which will do the same thing as a recompile, which will change the uh, else, which will change the, all of the LCDs and stuff. You also can make a a menu. Uh, all you have to do for that is get this screen add the L underscore menu uh, tag on the LCD go to the and you can either use a button panel or a command seat it doesn't really matter all you have to do is if you're using let's say a button panel or anything else get the programming block that your that the script is on run it and uh, with couple arguments. One is up, then another button will be with down, another button will be uh, another button will be uh, enter, and another button will have to be the argument back. Now all you have to do to uh, m make it work, just reset the programming programming block, and there we go. We have the pa uh, me a menu working. So you can use the buttons that I that I showed you how to set up to let's say reset the system, reload the panels, um, and. Uh, uh, change the 
panel settings like lighten, darken, toggle image and so on. After you have your screen, your programming block running, you can name a LCD L underscore report reset the system and there we go now we have showing hull integrity terminal integrity liquid vents, sensors block sack, turret shooting now if you want a certain thing to be showing you can go into the uh, title here and just type if you want only hull delete everything else and leave only hull if you want uh, something else that's uh, uh, you can find the uh, possible variant variations on uh, Alicia's uh, guide he has uh, uh, written down everything that you can do but uh, it's basically you type it up here and it shows what you typed the whole integrity thermal integrity and so on now there is a uh, a nice trick not trick uh, feature is that you can have a timer block with the world word uh, L underscore alarm and then underscore for whenever you want the timer to activate so um, if you want that uh, this timer to activate let's say when hull is at like let's say 80 percent we go and now this timer will activate when the uh, hull is uh, at, at 80 percent or below so we can have let's say um See when uh, we have uh, we can have the, the alarm to, uh, turn on this uh, LCD. Let's see. It's working, working. Yeah, it's now as you can see off, and when I add the LCD I can turn the block on and let's see for this timer if we add the L underscore alarm underscore hull underscore 100 so basically it will activate when the hull is like repaired you can have the thing that the uh, LCD turn off now for um, just to show you I will have to turn it off because hull as you can see isn't below 80% so if I turn this on manually as you can see the LCD turned on now if I turn this on alarm sorry it's a uh, just is misspelling but as you can see when the uh, timer block is <laughs> currently uh, named correctly and it, the hull is what at 100% the LCD turned off can show you again if we turn this off for uh, showing purposes turn this on the LCD will turn on when we turn on the hull 100% it will shut off because the uh, script is activating the timer because we have hull integrity of 100% now 
another uh, feature this uh, and the script has is that it can show you enemies so if I add a sensor and set it to a good range so it will definitely detect me and let's say you would have it as to detect enemies and neutrals only but for uh, sharing purposes I will have to detect myself the owner just go reset the system and now as you can see we have a, a red player detected and it will, uh, it will show you the player in pretty much real time like the time that you have this uh, script set to update which you can set it right here the refresh interval so let's say we have 30 and it will now show me much quicker just turn this off for a moment and if we have a let's say a door if I place it correctly we have a door and now for reset the system you have to reset the system every single time you add something to the script so let's see now if we open the door it will show you a blue marker as because uh, the door is open now if you close it it will disappear the same is also with air winds if the air, air vent is leaking or it cannot pressurize the room it will show up as yellow and that's pretty much it all you have to know you have the uh, menu you have the report you have the alarm system which you can read more in the uh, LDCS, Elysium uh, Steam uh, guide which I will link in the description below and you have the big LCDs thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time